Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Ridwan Ibrahim. In this tutorial video, I will proceed to show you on how you can load your structural member in Printout Structure. This video will be a detailed one on how you can load your beam with a partition wall. So let's just begin with it as soon as possible. There are two ways you can load your beam in Printout Structure. One, you can load it with a partition load, which is the same thing as the beam wall load. And then you can also load it with a member load okay so let's start with the beam wall load which is the partition load you can as well do the partition loading in two different ways this video will be about loading it with partition wall then we have another video on how you can load it with a member load okay now i will show you the first way on how you can load it with a partition wall i will be loading the beam in the 3d view here you can as well do it in the plan view it still does not matter okay so currently i am in story one you can see it here i'm in story one and then you can see the grid line is in story one okay so uh let me work on this beam uh, you can click the beam then you can go to partition wall like this you can just go to partition wall at the at the top you see it partition wall load so click on that now what i'm going to do is i will define the type of load that i want to have so i want to have a block wall okay of course i want to have a block wall so i'll first of all define the block wall so to do that i'll just click on add then you can see new load so i'm going to edit this new load i will name it with the kind of nomenclature we have here so that should be 225 um let me say 225 block wall and then i will put something like this nigeria okay so that's looking fine um you shouldn't bother about the color here it is not necessary so when you're done doing that come to edit material so that you can edit the material if the if any of this unit weight is the same as the unit weight of the block you want to add you can just use this but if it is not here then you have to add yours so mine is not here i'll have to add so i'll click on add then the uh the name let me just give it to be nigeria to to let me just say nigeria block doesn't matter nigeria block okay then i will have to insert the unit weight in kilonewton per meter cube the unit weight is 15.42 so if that is fine you can just click on okay now you can click on add here then under this just click on this drop down then this is it you can see nigeria block so i'll click on that now the unit weight in kilonewton per meter cube is here then the thickness of the layer that should be 225 mm so 225 mm okay and then the value of the load will be calculated automatically you can see 3.47 in kilonewton per meter squared so if that is okay just click on okay now i have defined the load but i have not assigned the load to the beam so this load that i have defined i can assign it to different kind of beams in this structure okay so let me assign that load to this beam so i'll click on this beam then you can go to edit wall load you can see it here edit wall load you can as well right click and then you see it here edit wall load so you can do any of the two since i have defined the load all i just need to do is click on this drop down and then you look for it you can see it here two to five block wall nigeria okay so you click on that then when you are done clicking on that automatically the unit weight will go filled and then the thickness will get filled the only thing you need to define is the height of the wall because the height of the wall may vary then i will define that to be three meter okay so i have 3.0 meter here then you can just click on okay all right so you can see the wall has been added over here just like that so that is the first way on how you can assign your partition wall or your beam wall load to a beam in proto structure there is another simple way the another simple way is you do not really need to define the load you can just directly assign the load to the beam so how can you do that um let's do something like that around here so let me click on this beam and then you can go to the edit wall load here so go to edit wall load so instead of you know defining the load since you know the unit weight the unit weight in kilonewton per meter square is supposed to be 3.47 kilonewton per meter squared that's fine then the height of the wall that i want to use is three meter and then what is the thickness of the wall the thickness of the wall is 0 0.225 no 0.225 in meter so if that is fine just click on ok then you can see that we will achieve the same results just as this and this is even faster so you can do any of the two okay 
another thing is this load can actually be copied you can copy this load and then assign it to another beam without having to you know clicking the beam and then one by one so let's assume i want to copy this load just click on this beam okay then you can see it here copy wall load so click on copy wall load then you can select the beams that you want to paste the beam onto so i will click on this beam you can hold your control to select multiple so let me click on this as well then all you just need to do is right click and then you go to paste you can see it here paste copied beam wall load so click on that and then click on yes and then you'll see the load has been copied so the load of the block has been copied onto the beam just like that now another thing i'm going to show you about this load is you might be wondering if you do not have a wall completely filling the void maybe you have some openings for your window and then for your door can you define that of course you can do that also so let's try to uh you know define an opening or some openings on this particular beam so um just click on this and then go to um edit wall load now we can just um add three openings and then you can come to you know edit openings here you know the length of the beam is 4.7 meter 4.77 meter and that is also the length of the partition wall that is placed on the beam okay so now to add the um the openings click on add here now you can see the opening has been added which is labeled as one but this is not the dimension and the location i want the opening to be you can you know edit that here so let's add one for the um for the door I want the width of the door to be 600 mm or let's say 900 mm so this should be 900 mm and then what about the height i want the height to be 2100 mm okay then x x is the distance from the beginning here to the beginning of the of the door so i will fix x to be the default which is here 1885 and then y i will use um zero you know y is the distance from here up to the bottom of the door so i'll let that to be zero so that i can flush to the bottom of the um of the of the of the wall something like this okay then i'm going to define another opening for a window at the at the left so click on add then the width of that window let the width be 600 let it be 600 by 600 okay then x let x be 642.5 okay and then let y be 1500 okay something like this or we can make this to be um 900 by 900 900 by 900 you know something like this okay then let me fix this to be 1000 yeah 1002 that would be minus zero okay something like this and then x let me reduce this to um four nine oh, let's say four nine two point five okay i think this is um doing well so let me add another opening for the window at the right so click on add so i'll be adding an identical one for this um let this be um 900 then this will be 900 as well um let's make y to be 1200 then the distance x um distance x can be made to be 3277.5 you know just fix the distance okay so we can have um something like this so you can see this depicts the wall opening this is for the window opening and then this is for another window opening so just click on ok and then that is done click on ok now if you see this you can see we have the opening for the window we have the openings for the door you can define as many as possible opening depending on how you have the opening all right so this is exactly how you are going to load your beam with a partition wall load or with a beam wall load the next video i'll be showing you how you can load your beam with a member load in different ways as well so watch out for the video um also if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and if you find this video very useful make sure you give it a like thanks for watching